Hey everybody, I'm starting something a little bit new as far as software goes, so bear with me if there are any technical difficulties or if uh, something doesn't look right to you. Um, just be patient and uh, it'll get better as I go along making new videos in the future. Like, comment, subscribe as always. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's, uh, it's your boy Petey. And we're gonna we're gonna watch a little bit of a uh, uh, this new trailer that's been coming on Nintendo Switch time, and it's uh, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. So you got Score Bunny, you got the fighting type with a little spunk, that gym leader. I like her. Who's this? Who's this lady? She's probably a a new. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to the new uh, characters. Uh, that closely solely because I've been doing a lot of personal self-discovery things in my life I'm living my life okay there's the Dynamax there's the edgy ghosty person now here's the here's the juice right here the Galarian form look at this wheezing look at this he's got boogies on his nose he's got to wipe his boogies off but he is a sir he's pumping out that that juicy gas that sounds wrong. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Look at him. Bam, pumping it out. Mm, you see that lump? That is a that is an old school Disney lump, you know, from S Steamboat Willie. Just lump. See that Galarian wheezing. Poison fairy ability levitate and something else. I wonder what it is. But look at that. He looks so like that mustachioed wheezing looks so Beautiful. I just want one. I want it on my team. Poison fairy too. I don't like fairy types either. And here we come into this uh, Gene Simmons looking. Was it Paul Stanley? No, it's it's not Gene Simmons. It's more like Paul Stanley because it's got the stars for the eyes. See, I actually pre googled this and I did my research. That's Paul Stanley. So a few people are like, "Oh, it looks like Gene Simmons." It's not Gene Simmons. It's Paul Stanley. Get your get your kiss fact facts straight, okay? Gotta make that gotta make that clear. You know, it's pickup and gluttony, very dark. You know, gluttony is very it's a, one of the deadly sins. But once it evolves into a Galarian Linoon, it's got a Gene Simmons tongue. So it's kind of you know, it's kinda like uh, Paul Stanley Um Gene Simmons hybrid, I guess. And then once it evolves further, which whoa it evolves. Whoa. Look at that. Doesn't happen in the Hoenn region. You don't see this in the Hoenn region. Look at that. It's uh, it's evolving into Obstagoon. Because it's got... It's an obstacle. You get it? Dark normal. Uh, that means quadruple weak against fighting. So, uh... Bring in your psychic types, kids. You know? Uh, um, bring in your flying types. You better have a Corviknight ready at the ready to protect your Obstagoon, because it's gonna no longer be an obstacle for people if if it, they just have fighting types. Might be, you know, it might be weak against Score Bunny, because Score Bunny, I'm starting to believe that it might end up being a fighting type. I said this in a previous video. And I, and I talked about how, ooh, Sword and Shield leak, Score Bunny final evolution speculation. And I got a dislike, and, you know, people are people are like, oh, it, it's not a leak, you're a faker. And I'm like, yeah, and your point? Because, you know, it's just any small bit of news about Pokemon, YouTubers, PokeTubers are going to rant about it. Any YouTuber in general is going to rant about it. It's my, it's my, uh, it's my right as an American to rant about things that are fictional, like Pokemans. But yeah, I have my doubts with um, Score Bunny being a fire electric type now, solely because uh, you know one of the one of the reasons is because um, here. Wait, actually, let me skip ahead a bit. It's this guy. This electric rodent Pokemon. I, I got. I'm still learning the names. Hold on. What's his name again? Oh yeah, it's it, it says it in the trailer. Let's let's watch it. 
It's uh, this hamster, Dedene Morpico. This Dedene Pichu cheeked, Dedene tooth, Pikachu bodied with a nut or berry at its side. Because it's got hung, it's got an ability called Hunger Switch, which it's apparently when it gets un- hungry easily, so it, it probably has like blood sugar problems. It probably has diabetes, and it's got a Pikachu tail motif thing going on. If you haven't seen it, um, so it's pretty much a copy of Pikachu, Pichu, Dedenne, all that. Um, hangry mode. That was like me like 20 minutes ago before I had breakfast. But yeah, it's... I'm probably going to get this game because Mimikyu's in it again. <laughs> this guy. This guy I don't trust. Look at that grumpy face. Actually, I don't know. Is it a guy or a girl? I can't tell. The jacket's too... So, you know, I'll I'll talk about why I believe he's... Uh, um, he might actually be the bad guy not and not Marnie. But uh, backtracking a little bit, more Pico. Since there's an electric rodent, they are not obligated to make this. They are not obligated to make uh, another electric rodent. It's getting a little redundant, too. Hold on, crap. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, like, with the electric types, because they already have Yamper as an electric type, more Pico as an electric type. Are they going to have Score Bunny as an electric type, too? I don't think so. I mean, it knows Double Kick in, in one of the other trailers. It's not it's not going to be a thing, man. That's uh, that's depressing. Because it's like, you know, Blaziken was cool when it was a firefighting. Then Infernape was pretty cool because it had cool... Uh, it had character development in the anime. And then just black and white, both the anime and the video game, didn't do it for me because... Tepig didn't evolve into Embor. Uh, it evolved into Pig Knight, and then Pig Knight just kind of sucked through the Unova League. And, you know, that that's my piece. I, and I don't like... Uh, I didn't really like the... I, I have a big problem with uh, quadpedal Pokemon evolving into a bipedal Pokemon. Like, come on. Come on, folks. It's... I, I just want... The, the makers to be a little bit consistent. Because you see that with, like, Toro Cat evolving into Incineroar. You see that with uh, Fennekin evolving into Brakeson. You know, it, it doesn't, like, it, it would make more sense if, if Fennekin, you know, ended up evolving into, you know, maybe, maybe like a quad beetle Pokemon. Or actually, the case is more likely with with uh, Tepig to Pig Knight. Like, how do you how do you get from four-legged Pokemon that's a pig, ad- an adorable pig at that, to, like, a, a, a pig that is on two legs? I don't know. I don't understand the evolution. And that's kind of the negative vibe I got with, uh, with Obstagoon here, you know, where it's just, all right, I guess it's another, you know, uh, a, a quadpedal to bipedal. Pokemon that just is just I don't know I don't know what to make of it I'm okay with him he's growing on me he kind of reminds me of Midnight Form Lycanroc so I'm kind of getting used to him but uh, make sure you got your fighting types or your psychic types to protect against your uh, your quadruple weakness to a fighting type dark normal Kind of like Eradicate or Radita in, in strategy, I'm, I imagine. Because I think Radicate learns gluttony. Like it can, it has gluttony as like a special ability. All right, moving on to the rivals though. BD, this guy. It's weird saying his name because it kind of sounds like mine. Psychic type, we'll get into that in a bit. But anyways, she's got the dark edgy team, Marnie. With the with the Y for Team Yell. Marnie's Wild fans holding the sign. Hold on, let's back up here. They're holding the sign the wrong way. I don't understand that, but I I digress. I like the combat boots. It's a very punk rock looking thing. Old school punk rock looking aesthetic. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. 
and I didn't know this at first, the Y, like it, it, it's a Y, like the, the horn is a Y. I thought it was just, oh, okay, that's just a stupid horn that doesn't really do anything because it splits the sound in two. But it, it's a Y. I get it now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just slow for, for picking up on s small details like that. Yeah, obnoxious sports fan and also punk rocker hybrid. So that's 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 how that's how the Pokemon company sees you, uh, UK folks. Is you just like sports and punk rock and edgy stuff. That's and that's the end of the trailer. Okay, so let's backtrack a little bit to why I think. This guy, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Right here, Beatty. This guy, he's the, he's the actual bad guy. Why? Because he's he's got that weird I'm a bad guy grimace when you first meet him. That's not that's not a smiling folk. And uh, I don't like the glove. That has nothing to do with him being good or evil. I just don't like that style of glove. It doesn't do anything. Might be good for something. I, I don't know. But, okay. So he had he has the Solosis Pokemon. Okay. Psychic type. What other team has Psychic type as their main team bad guy Pokemon? The Aether Foundation. Faba had a full-on Psychic team. And he wound up being the bad guy. Now this is this is uh, a stretch. I sometimes wonder, you know, if they're going for this type of, you know, evil team who's actually the evil team, like good team who's actually the evil team, using psychic types and actually being competent and evil, you know, and and underhandedly betraying. Um, your trust, basically. I wonder if they're just going to continue that same idea going on in the future of the franchise. And then, in in turn, having these guys being the joke team, who they seem like bad people, but they're just ruffians and they're just a bunch of punks, kind of like Team Skull. You know, and I feel like they're setting this, this team up, Team Yell, kind of like how they set up Team Skull in the anime, where Team Team Rocket was just kind of like. Uh, it was cool to see J Jesse and James. I watched this recently on the uh, on uh, Ultra Legends, where Jesse and James kind of have have like a rivalry between some of the Team Skull grunts, and it, it's kind of cool to see that. I guess I I don't know that that's just a that's just a little footnote, I suppose. But it, it that might be what they're doing for the future. They might have two teams, whereas Team Yell is just the joke team. Or it would be cool and badass to see these guys as uh, the actual evil team with organized, you know, forms of organized crime in the Pokemon world in the Galar region. But they're just wild fans. They're nothing more than that. They're just wild fans. Depending on what Marnie wants to do, you know, only time will tell. And, uh, yeah, because there's Marnie. What kind of Pokemon does she use again? Oh, yeah, she uses the cute little electric rodent, but she's... Hold on, she's holding a Shadow Ball there. Or, sorry, a Dusk Ball, not a Shadow Ball. I'm thinking of the move, Shadow Ball. But does she throw... Does she throw it? Does she have a bunch of dusk balls with her? Okay, you don't see her throwing anything. So it's probably, it's just probably another. The, the clips were cut up with the more Pico and stuff like that. So, anyways, here's the roster we got going on. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay with Score Bunny. Going to get a Wooloo because it's a fluffy ball of uh of joy and it knows run away it's kind of like an eevee in a way cuz i think eevee can learn run away um an extremely fluffy ball body 
A friendly Pokemon that craves stability? <laughs> Sounds like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Wooloo that lives herd and mimics the actions of their trainer or herd leader. They dislike conflict and need to escape from enemies. They will simply roll away. That is the cutest thing. I'm sorry. I haven't made a video talking about Wooloo. I had to I had to talk about Wooloo in this video. An extremely fluffy body. Who doesn't want this Pokemon? If you don't like this Pokemon, ah oh man, I gotta question your judgment. Corviknight looks like a stoic. Looks like a Honchcrow, except more badass and more... I don't know, it just... It makes me think of Toucanon, because it's all grumpy looking. Flying Taxi. Imagine being carried by that magnificent thing. Jeez. I think I'm going to use... I'm going to use Corviknight. Scorbunny, Wooloo, Corviknight. I'm not going to use Dreadnought. I'm not going to use this. I'm not a... I'm not a cream type of person, unless if it's dairy-free, so... I can't risk it. I can't ask if it's dairy free because then that that makes me seem like a pompous person. I don't want to. An idol to all pastry chefs. So this is a Gordon Ramsay main Pokemon. It's uh, got to keep the the pan nice and hot before you add the oil. I learned that from Gordon Ramsay. One thing I don't agree on. Uh, on when it comes to cooking with Gordon Ramsay is that pineapple does go on pizza. It does. And you can fight me. You, you could dislike this video in the comment section, but I am still firmly adamantly believing that pineapple does go on pizza. Pizza is about the foundation. It's about the, it's about the dough. It's not about any of the toppings. Pizza is mostly about the foundation. If you got a good dough, then you got a good pizza. Whatever you put on top only enhances the quality of, of uh, pizza you got. That's my, uh, that's my uh, culinary knowledge of the day. Uh, I could talk about that more in another video maybe. I don't know. But I'm getting this Pokemon. Did I talk about Yamper yet? I don't know. I just love the fact that it, it crackles as it runs. It generates electricity, and this organ is activated when Yamper runs around. Yamper can't store the electricity it generates, so it's often seen running around with electric sparks crackling around it. That, it's literally a spark of joy. Who doesn't want a Yamper? And it's, it's you know, a Welsh Corgi. You know, that's, doesn't the Queen have that? This is 100% Galarian. Royal royal type of Pokemon. And I, I've played with Corgis in the past. I, I'm i definitely having this on my team. I'm probably not going to have more Pico on my team because it looks too much like a hybrid of three electric rodents that I've used in the past. But Yamper, that is a, a, a breath of fresh air. A new Pokemon. Finally, a cute little puppy Pokemon. It's called the puppy Pokemon. Wow, I didn't. I just realized that. I just read that. I was just highlighting stuff, and it's like, oh, it's the puppy Pokemon. Cool. The ability Ball Fetch. I'll probably learn that later. Introduce these titles. You could throw a Pokeball at the wild Pokemon field to catch it. As long as Yamper isn't holding an item, it will go fetch the first Pokemon that, Pokeball that failed to catch a Pokemon. Regardless of what type of Pokeball it is. That's cool. It's not useful in battle, but it's cool. That's a good catching Pokemon. That's a good pu puppy Pokemon to have at your team when you're starting. Yeah, I'm definitely using that. I'm 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 leveling this up to level hundred though. It's gonna be my main. It's gonna be the only Pokemon I use at the Elite Four at the end of the day. Roly Coley. Steam engine Pokemon, heat proof. So yeah, I'm probably going to use Roly Coley because every household once needed one. Because I'm American, all the coal jobs are going away to uh, migrant workers. I'm kidding. That's that's a joke. That's a joke. Don't demonetize me. Uh, no, but like Roly Coley, we need more coal jobs in America, even though they're being replaced by automation. 
And there's probably going to be an automation Pokemon that makes Roly Coly irrelevant and depressed. That would be funny. Steam Engine. Speed stat boost with its hit by fire or water type move. Oh, so I see it's uh, Volcanion's worst nightmare. Roly Coly. Hear me roar. All right, let's go Let's go to the ones that we're talking about today, because I don't think we're going to get this dragon-y guy. Weezing Galar form, looking like a Cirque. Might get a Poison Fairy type. First of its kind, Poison Fairy. Fairy. It's got like an Alolan muck thing going on because it emits purified air from the top of top of its head. So it takes in bad gaseous pollutants and, then, and turns it good. Kind of like how uh, Alolan muck and Grimer were used to just eat trash, literally. That's going to be something we do in the future when it comes to CRISPR genetic editing. We're just going to make Pokemon that are going to evolve to, you know, just eating whatever waste that we create in order to make it good again. It's going to be like some other... That's that's a that's another conversation for another time. So it emits poison gas, but it also emits nice gas from its smokestacks. So it's like a uh, like sweet scent in a way. It's very pleasant. I'd like to smell that, but it's got it's got boogies. It's got some boogies going on. I don't I don't know if I like that. I still get it cuz it's got the top hat. It would be funny if if they used this um the eye bug the eye boogies, the green boogies for the uh like they made a monocle for the one on the for the smaller wheezing head, that would be cool. That's just a uh, something I, I'm thinking out loud. So yeah, I might not get Gene Simmons' Linoon evolution because it's the blocking Pokemon. It's well, not because it's the blocking Pokemon. It's probably because it's dark normal, and I just don't. I'm not into the 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 formerly quadpedal to bipedal evolutions anymore. Like, it's not doing anything for me. It looks too much like uh, Lycanroc Midnight form. Um, I don't know. I might change my mind in the future, but, you know, as far as now, I'm, I'm not really into it. More Pico's growing on me because it's like, okay, it's it looks too much like Dedenne, Pikachu, and Pichu as a hybrid if they all had a three-way baby. But it's always hungry no matter how much it eats. So it's kind of like Guzzlord. That's kind of cool. It's very unique. It's always carrying around berries and seeds, protecting them with care. It's a little bit uh, little bit territorial of its food. Don't mess with its food. But it changes its appearance when it gets hungry. That's hangry mode, as you know, as you've seen in the trailer, plainly. But it's the balance of hormones of Morpico's body changes. This causes its fur color to change and triggers more aggressive volatile behavior. So it's basically got a blood... It, it has diabetes. It's got a blood sugar problem. You know, I kind of feel bad for it. You know? And it kind of has that uh, um, Lugia XD-001 type of uh, purpley persona going on. Like, it looks like the... Um, Shadow Lugia from Pokemon XD. So I could kind of... I could jive with that. But in this one, it looks like Pikachu Libre in its coloration. I don't know. And, and we also have another hamster Pokemon, so... I'm probably not going to use it, even though it might be useful in, uh, in competitive play. Because, you know, you could change from an elemental type to, you know, a non-elemental type. So that, that'll be something to experiment with. Roly Coley might be cool to experiment with too. So for now, to summarize, Evil Team. Oh yeah, this also, this little promo thing. Look at the dark shading of this guy versus, you know, the lighter shading of her. You know, you expect her to, because she's edgy looking, to be the bad guy, but she's not. She's, she probably isn't, you know, she's probably just somebody who's famous, 
kind of like, you know, and, and she's got an entourage that she might have not have asked for. And she's just got a stoic looking face going on. Whereas this guy, who, what is this guy doing? The darker shading. He looks, he looks intimidating. He's got fluffy wooloo hair. He kind of has hair like Bird Keeper Toby. I don't trust people like that. I don't, I don't know. That scares me a little bit. And, uh, he's got a, he's got this bag of tricks. You know what's in there? I don't know what's in there, but it's, it's sure not good. And I don't, I don't think, I don't think this guy's a good guy. I think she's fine. I think she's good. Like, you know, she just likes uh, changing up her looks. I don't blame her. You go, girl. Accessorize however you may like. Don't expect anybody to ask you to change, okay? Because you, you got to You be yourself, okay? This guy, though. This guy. He's up to no good. I don't know why. I don't know why. He's got the darker shading. That's probably why. But, like, that bag of tricks has got... It does, it's not full of potions, restores, revives, and rare candies. It's full of evil. It's full of evil. All right. I think that's going to do it for this video, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Live your life. Um, you know, tell me what, what kind of Pokemon you like. I, I listed all my favorites on this roster. You know, hopefully we're not going to only have, like, 20 Pokemon here. Hopefully, you know, more come out. When the when Sword and Shield comes out, I'm probably gonna get Sword. An exciting new Pokemon RPG for the Nintendo Switch coming to you into me 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 to Game Store near you. Anyways, okay, I'll end it here. I love you all. Thanks for listening to my rant and my uh, analysis. I guess if you 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 could call this an analysis. Um, yeah, take care. Have a good day. And, uh, you know, this is going to be a fun game. You know, don't, even though the, it's not as well optimized or the graphics aren't as good, it's still better looking than most, than most games. Like the shading's nice. I mean, the trees kind of look shabby, but like the game itself looks better than any other Pokemon game than we've had. So I'm not complaining. I think it, what it's going to be like. A lot more money per game because it's about sixty dollars. Yeah, that's that kind of annoys me. But you know, it'll be wow. Four K people already dislike this. Oh boy, I wonder how many dislikes I'm gonna get. All right, well, I'll end it here. I love you all. I'm ranting too much. Just uh, do have a good day and uh, let me know what you think about this trailer because I thought it was pretty cool. All right, peace.